Cheers again, folks. Here you are, the flying health coach, your boy, Marcus. <laughs> uh, just got back from uh, teaching some class. Um, been thinking about this thought a lot today, uh, reflecting versus reacting. I had the thought in the morning when I woke up in a insanely tired state, um, self, self-endued, self-done, I don't know, some word, some word that's smarter than me. <laughs> um, I've never been good with words. I don't know about anyone else. You know, I'm, I'm relatively smart, but I can't think of good words in the moment. But anywho, uh, neither here nor there. Cheers. Uh, happy Tuesday night. Um, reflecting versus reacting was my thought process when I woke up today. Um, I was thinking about this a little bit last night. Excuse me. Um, and what it what it all means, right? I I keep watching the document or the documentary. It's not really a documentary, but the movie, the subtle art of not giving a fuck. I'm also reading the book. Fantastic book. If you haven't read it, Mark Manson. Awesome book. Subtle art of not giving a fuck. It is a fantastic book. But um, choosing when to reflect versus when to act. Uh, now, I was thinking about more reflecting, watching the subtle art not giving a fuck. But the reacting part came in today, too, because I've had the tendency in the past that uh, reacting based on emotion, right, which I've, I've talked about in previous videos. And it's very easy to do, right? We humans are emotional creatures. Um, it's really easy to react and take action based upon emotion, right? Versus reflecting is not so easy, right? Pausing, right? Taking a moment and pausing before taking action um, isn't 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 the easy part. That's why I always, you know, I, I I'm a huge fan of meditating, right? It's it's I think it's insanely important to be able to calm your thoughts down and to see your thoughts for what they are. Um, so that's what this video is about. It's reflecting versus reacting and not a long video. It's more just a, a thought to kind of put in your, your craniums, your collective, all of our collective craniums, right? So we always have decisions to make, right? And these decisions are usually, they're usually hit harder when there's bigger things in life involved, right? You know, career decisions, right? Relationship decisions, right? Your personal personal decisions, right, that go towards, you know, okay, I want to make this change with myself, right, which can be emotional, right, you know, embarking on a fitness journey can be emotional to a degree, right, you have to give up a lot of shit, right, if you're fucking 300 pounds right now, and you're deciding, I don't want to be this way anymore, I want to look better, feel better, I want to weigh 200 pounds, right, losing 100 pounds is no joke, right, you have to give up right? A lot of stuff. You have to give up a way of life that you've known for a long time. An example, weird one, but an example, right? Same thing goes if you want to make a career change, right? Like I look like what I did, right? I had to give up 10, 12 years of something I was comfortable in, the health and wellness world, something I was really good in, right? To go pr pursue a career in aviation that I virtually knew nothing about whatsoever. Didn't know how I was going to get there, you know, didn't know how if I was going to be good or not, didn't know anything. I'd know nothing, right? Relationships, same thing, right? Whether it's intimate relationships or with your personal friends, like, are these people good for me in my life, right? Are they helping me or are they hindering me, right? Especially if they've been with them for a long period of time, you know, months on end, years on end, whatever have you, doesn't matter. But those, all of those big life decisions create emotions, right? And those emotions can create actions, now, I think that without going too long in this video, I think the one of the really important thought to think about, thought to think about, sounds weird, something to, to think about is, is and this is why meditating is good, right? To be able to take a step back just for a second, right? And before you take action, you know, do I need to A, just reflect on what's happening right now? Or do I need to take immediate action, Right. Because sometimes, you know, we, we, you don't know what's best in the moment, right? You don't know what you don't know, right? We have to go through life experiences. You have to experience things in life, right, to be able to understand, okay, you know, this happened to me years ago. I knew that I, I maybe should have taken some time and just reflected on the situation and then decided what needs to be done, decided if I need to take action or if I just need to let it go versus other times in life where it's like, 
man, years ago, I, I should have, I should have done something about that. Right. But I, instead I just reflected, I just, I thought about it too long and it, it slipped under the wayside. Right. You have to go through life experiences to understand, to be able to decipher between the two. Right. You have to experience things in life to be able to know what's the best course of technically action because they're both technically an action, right? You're, you're choosing either A, to not take action or B, to take action, right? So this, they're both an action any way you look at it. Um, but when it comes to choosing to reflect or to act in the moment, I personally, you know, I, I've chosen reflection more often than not, right? When I probably should choose action, right? Um, I've chosen to, well, I'm going to take that back. You know, recently I've chosen to reflect more than take action. Early 20s, mid 20s, I usually just took action. Um, sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Um, same thing with now with my early 30s, right? I've typically chosen to reflect a little more than take just immediate action, which has sometimes worked. Sometimes hasn't, right? I haven't figured it out quite yet. I'm still working on that fine balance of reflecting versus taking action, right? But the point is, you know, you have to give yourself, you have to give yourself some grace to a degree that you don't know what you don't know. Um, you haven't experienced all that life's going to throw at you yet. You know, life hasn't knocked you on your ass enough yet to know that this situation requires immediate action versus this situation requires me to take a step back and reflect on it. Now I talk about reflection, right? Reflection is simply just looking at, you know, this situation happened because of X, Y, and Z, right? When I reflect on a situation, I look back that, okay, you know, this certain thing didn't work out the way I wanted it to. That's okay, right? Didn't happen the way I wanted it to, but what can I learn from it, right? What can I take from it, right? I'm reflecting back on the situation and deciding that, okay, I did these X, Y, and Z things, can't change it anymore, right? Again, whether it's a career, relationship, right? Whether that's, doesn't matter, right? It's all irrelevant at the end of the day. We're all going to die. <laughs> you know, I talked about that, but right? We're all going to die anyways. Um, but reflecting back as to what went wrong, right? What did I not do or what did I do, right? That gave this situation its ultimate outcome, right? Now, and taking a step back, looking at that and understanding, okay, you know, I did these certain things. Maybe I need to change a couple things about myself, change a few things about my approach when these situations happen again, right? Versus, you know, looking back, the situation happened. Well, I could have taken this action, which you could have, right? And you'll never know if it would have worked or wouldn't work. But the point is, is that, you know, you have to have experiences in life to be able to decipher, do I need to reflect on what, what just happened or do I need to take action on what just happened, right? And again, you don't know what you don't know and you have to give yourself grace for that. You have to be able to, to, to forgive yourself for not knowing the exact perfect answer, right? And for the longest time, I wasn't able to do that, right? I held all these demons inside my head and I, I still got a lot of them, right? Everyone does, right? I still have all these demons inside my head that says, well, you know what, Marcus? You, you could have done this years ago. You could have done that years ago. You should have done that. You should have not done that, right? I have a lot of not dones. <laughs> should have not done that years ago, but I still did. Um, so give yourself some grace. Know that you're human, that you're allowed to make a mistake. You're allowed to feel you're allowed to not know what the best answer is, you know, but important thing is if you can learn from it, right? If you can learn that this situation down the road, if I can learn and grow from it requires, maybe I just need to reflect on it. What did I do wrong? Right. What did I not do? Because at the end of the day, everything that happens in our life is our fault, right? It just, we make the choice, right? It's our fault, right? We have to take responsibility for it, right? Versus reflecting over here versus, okay, I know I need to take action now, right? This, this situation requires me to take immediate action. If I don't do something, right? As, as they say, faith without action is meaningless, right? You can't simply just not pay your bills in life and at least live in the Western society, right? You cannot pay your bills and not expect consequences, right? right? You're going to get consequences. Um, does said at, does said situation require action or does it require reflection? You know, that's a constant battle between both, right? You'll figure it out if you're mindful enough, right? You'll get better at it. We all will. You know, none of us are perfect. 
um, you're going to make mistakes. That's the beauty of this life is making mistakes, making mistakes, messing up, you know, reflecting when you should have acted, acting when you should have reflected. And the point of this video, again, too, is just to understand that you're going to have two choices always, reflecting or acting. And also that give yourself some grace that you don't always have the right answer in the moment, that you're going to make a mistake, right? You're going to say the wrong thing. You're going to do the wrong thing, right? When you shouldn't have said or done anything, right? You should have just thought about it before, before you did something, right? And that's the beauty of reflecting, right? If you take some time, take a few moments, take a day, take a week, take a month, take a year, fuck it, right? Who knows, right? Take some time, right? You know, action oriented people are very good, right? I'm very, I'm always based on action. If I want something done, I got to get it done. But also pausing for a moment and maybe refining that action a bit. And that maybe that's a better way to look at this too, is if I reflect for just a little bit, there's a healthy balance, right? If you can reflect for a little bit, right? In, in the past versus if you took action right away, right? Maybe now you've had enough sense where, all right, in the past I've done this. Maybe now I'll just step back for five minutes, for 10 minutes, for a day, for a week, right? Let me think about this decision, right? Before I take said action, right? Um, so that's kind of my thought process tonight, reflecting versus acting, right? Take it as you will. Uh, again, you know, the flying health coach here, I'm, I'm always, always willing to help people. I hope that uh, these videos provide, you know, there's some mild laughter in them with my awkward mannerisms that I have, my awkward use of hands. <laughs> um, hopefully, you know, people enjoy them. Um, again, my email is in the, the Flying Health Coach. Feel free to shoot me an email. Give me, i um, happy to share my phone number if everyone wants to give me a call. Um, happy to talk about stuff, help you off that proverbial ledge, if you will. Um, I'm here to help, right? That's that's my, that's my life passion. My life goal is to help people get through tough times and help them be better. Um, so yeah, that's what I got tonight. Hope everyone is having a wonderful week so far. If you're in the Minnesota realm, going to get a lot of snow again. <clears throat> Sucks. Anyway, have a wonderful evening. Have a great rest of the week. Peace.